Welcome Ramley, how are my Rams super fans doing today? Unfortunately, we gotta recap the Rams versus the 49ers. Let's get right into it. Now guys, I'm not sugarcoating nothing. That was absolutely disgusting. That was a horrible performance today by the Rams. I'm sorry guys, this recap is gonna be a little different than the ones previously. I don't want to hear the Rams and Super Bowl in the same conversation anytime in the near future. Our bye week couldn't have came at a better time because we need it. How many damn drop passes is going to happen in one game? We have one of the best wide receiving cores and then all of a sudden all of our receivers hands are made of stone. Cooper Cup dropping passes, Van Jefferson's bobbling passes out of bounds in the end zone. How many passes is Tyler Higby going to drop? And it all seemed to come at horrible times. I think all of them were first downs. And if it wasn't a first down, it was Tyler Higby giving up a touchdown to the defense. This was an embarrassment. I don't care that this was a divisional game. This is a team that just isn't that good. They lost to Colt McCoy last week. Colt McCoy, who just got killed, murdered by the Carolina Panthers. And they come out and just embarrass us. We're stacking all of this talent for what reason? Because we damn sure don't know how to use any of it. Granted, I know Odell Beckham just got here. He doesn't really know the playbook yet. He barely played. I understand that. But come on. Are we going to ever get any pressure on the quarterback? We have the greatest defensive tackle of all time. We add Von Miller. We got Leonard Floyd. And yet, we have Jimmy Garoppolo just having all day in the pocket. He went 15 for 19. He barely missed a pass. This was just an embarrassment. And it's like, come on, can, can Jalen Ramsey please just guard the best player? Debo Samuel is the only option they have. But yet Jalen Ramsey is not on him 100%. The, the, this, was, this, was, this was very hard to watch. Um, it, man, they just ran it down our throat. They ran it down our throat. They ran it, ran it, ran it. We knew it was coming and we didn't have an answer for it. This is two weeks in a row that we took losses to opposing quarterbacks who didn't even go over 200 yards. Guys, the writing's on the wall. You don't have to beat the Rams through the air. You do it on the ground. That's how you do it. The Titans didn't even have Derrick Henry, and yet they blew us out. This team finished with 156 yards on the ground. 156. Guys, they won the time of possession by 19 minutes. 19 minutes. This is just unacceptable. The Rams just, they were horrible on all phases of the ball. All of them. They were 3 for 10 on third down. 0 for 2 on fourth down. Like, you, you can't win a game when you can't convert. You can't sustain drives. On the other side of the ball, the Niners were 8 for 14 on third down. It seemed like we would get them in perfect position every single drive. And then Jimmy Garoppolo would drop back and finally pass the ball. And whoever he decided to pass the ball to was wide open. Time and time and time after again. Time again, time. Like, come on, man. Uh, guys, I'm not overreacting here. We're just, we're, we're, we're I'm at a loss for words, honestly. Uh, before the start of this game, I went on YouTube Live with Pale Time, which is another YouTuber. Uh, shout out to Pale Time. I told him I think the Rams have literally the best roster in the NFL on paper. But guess what, guys? We do. We had the best roster on paper. That does not convert to real life. We are not the best team in the NFL. We are far from it. We got a lot of work to do. It starts on that defensive side of the ball. We have to stop the run. And our receivers have to catch the damn ball. We are never going to win a game if we have five, six drop passes. Like, this is so uncharacteristic of the Rams. It's just mind-boggling. You guys get paid millions of dollars to catch the ball. We just got Von Miller, and I know I'm all over the place, I'm sorry, but we just got Von Miller here in his first game back, and he's getting pancaked by a tight end. Like, I don't care if it's George Kittle. You are one of the best edge rushers in the NFL, and you're getting pancaked by a tight end. That's unacceptable. Now we're 7-3 and three going into our bye week, and guess who we have at the end of that bye week? We have to travel to Green Bay to play Aaron Rodgers in Lambeau Field. We're going to know right then and there whether we're contenders or pretenders. Because if we go in there and play like we did today, then, I mean, what's the point? You know, you, you're just hoping for a miracle at that point. No, we have to go in there and we have to prove that, no, 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 we're still here and this is our year. If we don't, 
then come on man it's just the the writing's on the wall at that point the writing's on the wall like come on man and then like it, it's it's 14 to 7 we march all the way down the field we get stopped on third down kick the damn field goal take the points instead you get nothing you go into halftime with three less points than you should have been i don't know if you guys believe in momentum but that's a thing like take the damn point or if you're gonna go for it on fourth down put the ball in matthew stafford's hands and let him throw the ball not our damn punter he's not a quarterback put the ball in the hands of matthew stafford and have him give it to our playmakers like damn this was the most frustrating game i've seen since the rams lost to the new york jets last year it's only so many times you're gonna sit here and say oh the rams shot themselves in the foot the Ram that seems like every loss this year oh the rams you know beat themselves the Rams beat themselves the rams beat themselves eventually we're gonna have to look in the mirror and say no this is just who the rams are when the rams start to struggle the rams beat themselves and that's just what's gonna continue to happen i mean come on man that was that was horrible you know if it wasn't for the drop passes and that <laughs> Where is the halftime adjustments? The 49ers made an effort to allow Jimmy Garoppolo to pass the ball the least amount of times possible. We knew that, we could tell. They did it in the first quarter, the second quarter. I thought for surely, you know, once we get out of halftime, we'll have an answer for that. Jimmy Garoppolo did not want to pass, they did not want the ball in Jimmy Garoppolo's hands. But when he had to pass the ball, he was Joe Montana. It's like, what the fuck is going on? This defense was a deer in headlights. That man we have aaron donald von miller leonard floyd on that defensive line and yet we get no pressure on jimmy garoppolo this isn't a quarterback who's moving and shaking around in the pocket and making things happen with his feet this is jimmy garoppolo this is somebody who's probably not going to be on the 49ers roster next year and he's just the, the the 19 times that he does pass the ball everybody's open guys this is an immediate reaction right after the game you know I, i'll probably speak to you guys in the next couple days this was just disgusting. This was sad, and I had to get this off my chest. Uh, uh, it's a lot of emotion in this recap. As you can tell, you guys probably aren't used to me being this emotional, but this, this was just sad to see. All those drop passes was just disgusting. It was an embarrassment. Um, we we need this by this bye week badly. Odell Beckham, please hurry up and get 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 acclimated to this team because we need you. We need somebody who can hold on to the damn football. Uh, the only positive to this game was Cooper Cup's stat line looked great, and he's still on pace to to, to break records. <laughs> like, that's the only positive whatsoever in this game. And honestly, I could give two fucks about that. I want to win. Now we head to our bye week, and we have Aaron Rodgers waiting for us in Lambeau Field. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, and if you're interested in more Rams content, click this video right over here.